Yes. When it's, you know, it, we're in, when women enter into profession, enter into the professional realms or they enter into the business realm, they have to have uh, relationships with all kinds of people. And so the husband has to be aware of this. He has to be vigilant. Okay, and when he when the wife sees him being vigilant and protecting her in this domain, uh, she will respect him and love her more for it. It's like the child who uh, uh, wants to stretch the limits of his of of what he can and cannot do. Okay, Mm -hmm. women will push a man to these limits just to see if the man responds. Mm -hmm. If the man doesn't respond, then she decides one of two things either he's not paying attention or he doesn't care or both absolutely absolutely um this is this is a realm in which women push men just to see what they will how they will respond and husbands have to be vigilant to this and they also have to respond diplomatically it doesn't mean you have to have an an out and out argument over these things the husband just has to be firm you Mm -hmm. see Firm is firm, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't have to go beyond that. That doesn't mean, you know, husband and wives aren't going to have their spats. They certainly do. And they're terrible at times. Mm -hmm. (laughs) When when my wife and I have such a spat, and believe me, we love each other dearly, but we fight sometimes. Mm -hmm. On occasion, it happens. And uh, it's usually over some sort of misunderstanding or something, God knows what it is. But when it happens, and then uh, uh, we see what would, would the rage rises and rises and rises, and then you're just butting head and you're saying all sorts of things that should not be said, you stop. You stop. Okay. I stop. We generally stop for three days, okay? We stay in the house, we go about our business separately, and we don't speak for three days until until everything is calmed down. Mm. That has saved our marriage, okay? If you don't do something like that, then, you know, everything's going to get blown out of proportion because the jinn are always there waiting to inflate all of these vain imaginations, all of these errors, okay? It's a constant dynamic. But getting back to Khadija and the businesswoman that she was, obviously she had... Uh, relationships with all sorts of people and all sorts of men from other tribes and other merchants Mm -hmm. and she was able to handle a portion of that responsibility to the prophet during those years when he was fulfilling his manhood under the watch of her womanhood you Mm -hmm. see and they were completing this complementarity Okay, it was completed and they had this this give and take, this give and take going back and forth, this intermingling that occurs with the the husband and wife. It's a dance. It's a dance is what it is, you see. And then it whirls and it twirls and it reaches the heavens. (laughs) See, it reaches the heavens. It's the real tango. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what that is what the tango is all about. Okay. So um, interesting. Okay. So. Maybe-